it can be a lot of fun to take kids fishing and watch them enjoy the thrill and wonder of making a connection with a sea creature. One of the first things your kid will have to learn is how to bait a hook. So here are 10 bait fishing tips that your kids will absolutely love. 10 tips for bait your kids will love. Number one, using smallest hook. For the fish you and your kids are trying to catch, try to use the smallest hook you can get away with. This will make the bait's movement less constrained and make it appear more natural. Number two, handle bait with caution. Be careful when handling bait, especially to kids. When using live fish as bait, cradle them in your hand instead of grabbing them hard. If they are wiggling too much for you to easily hook them, try holding them upside down. Many fish become disoriented as a result of this and they wiggle less. Number three, use worms as bait. When in doubt, use worms and mealworms. This bait is widely used in a variety of fishing techniques. In freshwater, use earthworms or manure worms, and in saltwater, use bloodworms or sandworms. For trout and baits, mealworms and other live grubs are commonly used. Number four, worm syringes. Try using a syringe to fill the worm with air when fishing with worms. There are special worm syringes for this that you can buy. This allows you to raise the worm off the bottom and hopefully directly in front of the fish. Without doing this, if you simply fish a worm on the bottom, it will be more difficult for the fish to see it because it can hide by crawling under objects. Number five, use minnows. Use sardines or minnows including all bait fish or focus on a different variety. Many fish consume minnows, so be sure to choose one that is the right size for your intended fish. Sardines are excellent bait and draw the majority of fish. Number six, hook certain species with crayfish. Try pinching one of the crayfish's claws. This gives them a more vulnerable appearance and helps them stand out more. Simply grasp one claw firmly with a pair of pliers to accomplish this. The claw will be ejected by the crayfish on its own, sealing the hole. Pulling it out can kill the crayfish, so guide your kids while doing this. Smallmouth bass, catfish, and walleye are all attracted to crayfish bait. Number seven, use insects to attract fish. Use insects as bait for fish. Let your kids enjoy catching some. Insects are plentiful in the summer. Fishermen can easily capture adults from the ground or young nymphs from beneath the water's surface to ensure bait is a component of the diet of the local fish. Since insects can be easily killed while being baited, remind your kids that insects should be handled carefully. Insects are particularly appealing to trout. Number eight, invest in artificial bait. Artificial lures can be found that float, sink, or remain just below the surface. You can find artificial bait designed to draw a particular species of fish by smell or appearance in addition to customizing your fish's habits. Utilize a lure to simulate the bait fish's behavior. Number nine, chum the water with bait. It usually helps to chum the water with bait if fish are not in the mood to bite. Try completely hiding your hook in a bait, adding some chum, and letting your bait sink down with it if you notice fish avoiding your hook baits but eating the chum. To make the bait naturally sink in the water, you can manually pull the line out from the rod. This frequently works perfectly. Try using a fluorocarbon leader to make the line less visible in order to increase effectiveness. Number 10, Big Baits, Big Fish. Larger baits attract larger fish. Although there are no absolutes in fishing, this statement is true in the long run. Bigger baits will lead to bigger fish being caught overall. This is partially due to the smaller fish's inability to swallow large baits, though they can nibble at the edges. 
Did you learn something? If yes, make sure to type enjoy fishing in the comment section down below.